This is what HS2 looks like in Euston. Hundreds of homes and businesses have been destroyed and the plan is now to delay the project by anything from four to ten years. For the businesses on Drummond Street, it means more uncertainty and disruption. Ten years, I don't think that we're going to survive. We're not going to survive. How are we going to survive when there is no help from anywhere else? Travelling to Drummond Street and around this area is, is, is just nightmare. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a nightmare for the businesses. I personally think the government should finish this sooner rather than later uh, so the Houston comes back to normality. Here we go again, 8 o'clock in the morning. This is the type of thing some residents have had to put up with. Construction has also meant congestion on local roads. Initially, now the line will run to a new Old Oak Common station in West London. Passengers will then have to change onto the Elizabeth line to get into the centre of town. It's not clear yet what the timescale will be for the opening of HS2 here at Euston. It could be 2040, that's 17 years away. And there are also problems with having Old Oak Common in northwest London as the terminus. TfL say that could have very serious implications for the Elizabeth line, i.e. it wouldn't be able to cope. A more affordable design for Euston Station will now be worked on, but the whole area is meant to be seeing huge regeneration. Well, I think it's an absolute uh, disaster for the community here. It's like a punch in the gut. Um, people woke up this morning uh, reading the news and simply don't know what, what it means uh, from here. There's, there's no going back for people in Euston. HS2 is here. Homes have been demolished, schools have been emptied, green space has been taken away. This is a giant building site in the centre of London, dividing communities. We, we, we need a plan urgently about moving forward, um, and, a, and a, del a delay of a year, five years, ten years is just not acceptable. Euston now, I mean, have a station for decades. You've got homes there that have been demolished, businesses have been uh, demolished. On many days there's traffic chaos because of high speed uh, to the environmental issues around there, economic uh, issues. We're now being told that the only terminal in London will be Old Oak Common in the west of London for many, many, many years. That can't be right. The government's got to sort it out. The government says it's delaying the station to save money, but it is committed to bringing the line into central London. But here in Euston, there's just frustration and disbelief. Tom Edwards, BBC London.